Hello, everybody. I'm here. Yes, I'm back. I'm going to be working on something that you all know usually if I've got a piece of paper in front of me, it's because I'm doing a tag, okay? And that's not what I'm doing this time. I told you I was going to be doing a project for school that included doing a list of things I would do if I was doing a YouTube video for somebody who's just getting started. And I'm calling it the ultimate first video checklist. Because let's be real. We understand what it's like if you're on the tube. You know what it's like trying to do that first video. So, yeah, I'm going to be reading a pile of this because remembering lines, not my thing. But here you go. Let's cut to the chase. You want a concise list of what you need for your new channel. There are hundreds of videos on starting a YouTube channel. They give you so much information to claw through and analyze. Well, here are the brass tacks. One, the willingness to push the start button. This is the hardest thing to convince yourself you have to do here as you gain confidence. Number two, equipment. Use what you have. Nearly everyone starts a, with, with raw basics. They work up to the fancy stuff. Editing programs, lighting, production values. Three. Three, equipment, excuse me, here goes some more editing. Three, an idea, original or in a currently popular theme. Four, do not immediately quit your money job. Come on now. Pay attention, say it with me. Do not immediately quit your money job. Okay? In point one, everyone has their starting pains, their doubts, and their decisions. Finally, they took the best information to heart grab themselves by whatever they felt like grabbing at the time and made that first step, that first video. Did they sweat? Likely. I know I did, which is rough when you're doing makeup as your video choice. Were they uncertain how the video would be received again? Likely. What they did not do was let any of them that stop them from taking the leap and turning on the camera, talking their talk, doing some edit, and posting that first shot into the world of the creator. Point two, equipment. That is a camera, phone, photo with video, webcam, video cam, GoPro, or a clone. Whatever you have or can best afford. No one needs to start off with a major expense. I started with a cheap off-brand cell phone in 2018. And I graduated to a webcam. All right. 
And I'm not kidding. It was a okay cell phone that did okay pictures. But the best camera is on the wrong side for you to be able to check to see if you're even in frame. So, you know, you got starting pain. And you have other things in the house, like my dog's barking. Lights. I have one light that is not basic room light or sunlight. I got a $15, well, in 2018, it was $15 clamp on ring light with a phone holder to freehand the phone. I'm going to try and remember to put a picture of that pooch up here. And I'm going to put the link down in the description part. Now, originally that worked great with the phone. But hold on just a second. Where was I? Oh, yes. Later, that holder got turned into a holder for the webcam. And the ring light got turned around backwards. And I took a box. Now, Elf Cosmetics, which is one of my favorites, their, bo their shipping boxes are white interior. That nice white clay lining. And between that and some white paper and some foam core. I turned that thing, with some help from the hubs, into a bounce light. So that ring light is shining up into that white box and it's bouncing the light back down on me. Did it cost a lot? No, I went to the Dollar Tree to get the foam core. The paper was in the printer. The box was part of a shipment of stuff I was buying anyway. You don't have to go crazy. I've got a video on here that set that, that on the YouTube that shows you and talks about what I did and has some pictures. So, hey. Software. I started with what was on Windows 10. Cleaned up the color some, fixed the volume, posted it, got some initial views, picked up a free copies of Wondershare Filmora and DaVinci Resolve. Now I got the free copies and tested them. I tested both of them pups. I stuck with Filmora because for me, it fit intuitively. The links for those will be in the description. If you have any doubts about whether or not anybody else starts that way, go to some of your favorite YouTubers. Go all the way back as far as their back catalog goes. See what their values look like. See what their equipment was. See how the pictures appear. Did it get better over time? Hey, that's how you do it. The only people who really start with pro gear are people with more money than good sense or somebody who's already working in that business and has the equipment to hand. The idea, point three. What's your jam? What do you like to do? What do you do well? If you're making videos that already have creators in the theme, you need a hook that's going to be a little bit different. I mean, how many gaming videos are there? How many beauty videos are there? My hook is that I'm not young. 
And I still do stuff with makeup and my hair and my clothes and my jewelry that do not fit what society says is supposed to fit a grandmother. And I are one. And that several times over, I am not young, but I like to be me. I like to be me. If you've got a completely original idea, that's your hook to begin with. Something that you like to do that you have not seen anywhere on YouTube before. Do some background research. Make sure that you really have a completely original before you start calling it the first and only. Matter of fact, never mind. Don't call it the first and only. Somebody will find a way to clobber you with that. There is a process to eventually turning this into career. I'm not there. Point four, do not quit your day job. I think I've got a puppy here on my face and it's driving me crazy. Yes, that kind of stuff you can edit out if you need to. But do not quit that bread and butter job. Lots of people have been able to, but it doesn't happen overnight. Even the people who go viral overnight and gain tons of followers, that check don't come in anytime soon. You have to have a relatively steady income stream from this before you start thinking about telling your boss where to stuff the job, okay? You have to hit minimums. Not only do you have to have no less than a thousand followers, you're looking at 4,000 hours not minutes, hours of time that people have watched your stuff. Can you do that in an overnight? Yeah, if you hit millions in an overnight viral. Does that mean the check's going to be in tomorrow? No. Does it mean you can quit your day job? No, because you have no guarantee that just because you had a first video go crazy that you're going to be able to make a paying career out of this. Maintain the paycheck. The last thing about this is that if you want to do this, you like to create, you even love to create, find something that you love to work on and put it on the video. Friend of mine is a steampunk maker and he puts his workshop stuff on the video and he's doing pretty well with it he hasn't quit his day job though which is still he's a maker some of his stuff has been on tv so yeah but he hasn't quit doing anything else he's still doing that while he's doing the videos it takes a while but if you really love what you're doing, keep doing. I love what I'm doing. I am so micro of a channel. Even the channels that they call micro that are like less than 100,000 people, I'm micro to them. I mean, I have, I've been doing this since 2018. This is a 
oversaturated market doing the makeup. The only thing I've got different is the fact that I am not young, that I am talking to people who have crepey eyes and who have been told for years now that they should be wearing beige. Beige is boring. I'm talking to people who still want to have a good time. Like that lady walking down the street that they that, that somebody thought she was a fashion model. She's somebody's grandma wearing the clothes and the jewelry she wanted to wear. I mean, green hair, or in this case, this one's teal. I've had it like absolutely sour apple green. I've had it blue. I've had it pink. I've had it purple. I've had it fire engine red. I've had it plain blonde. If I let it grow out completely, it's gray. The biggest thing you have to remember is push the button. Go for it. Now, I want you to remember some stuff. You need an intro. Figure out how to say hi. You need an outro. Now, I used to call these things opening credits and ending credits. But then, when I first started working with even simple video or theater, that's the way it was referred to, things have changed. My current outro is to say, keep your distance, wash your hands, remember to wear your mask if it's still required where you are or for the location you're going in. Be nice. Be kind to somebody just for the heck of it. Mind your manners. Get your vaccine. There's no reason not to start with me I will get you if you start trouble that didn't need to be started there is no bail money be good